Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, last few videos I went over TQDM and I just wanted to go over uh, a couple more times. I'm just going to go over the parameters now. Um, so let's just dive right in. So I'm going to start making that iterable again for I in in range of 0 to 100 and then uh, I've imported sleep because I just want to slow it down and I don't, I'm not gonna make some big code to do so I'm just gonna <laughs> make the thread sleep a little bit <clears throat> so uh, this is all set up and if you don't remember um, I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of this for right now um, all you do for this is you just say from TQDM you import the class TQDM and then uh, what it does is it just uh, wraps around inter iterable right uh, the cool thing is that you can give it uh, a few arguments I like the these are right here I, I found and I was thinking that these actually might be useful uh, depending this this one maybe not so much <laughs> but um, just I'm just gonna show you what they are I'm gonna show you the normal one so um, if I go and just start running this and I say Python TQDM go into my and I'm using that file params right now and you see that this is just the normal thing it has it displays percentage it's going across it says uh, whatever that is to a hundred because I've defined a hundred iterations and you know it's counting down and saying that there's nine point nine three iterations per second basically you know ten iterations per second right well, that's that's that makes sense because the sleep is doing something it's sleeping every uh, a tenth of a second but uh, there's cool other uh, arguments you can pass to this. So I'm just going to say description equals um, time. The I'm just going to say uh, loop one. And I, let me give that a colon. All right, and I'm going to run it again, and you'll see right here. Ooh, I didn't. Even, one second, I didn't even need to have that colon. Let me just clear that. Now you see that uh, there's loop one, which is what I placed right here. That's pretty cool, uh, but there's even more you can go, <laughs> go ahead and do. Uh, the guys who made this is they're just really awesome. Now I don't know how the I why I would change this, but this unit right here that it's saying is saying it's going to change this iteration uh, part. It's going to say something divided by this second. I'm I'm pretty sure you can by by each second, but I'm pretty sure you can change all of that. So unit, let's just say whatever I want. I mean that doesn't make sense. Obviously, it's not a unit, but you can <laughs> you can definitely change that. So let's this is useful. Let's say instead your loop isn't really counting how many iterations, but it also is synonymous with something else. Let let's just say uh, that it was going and uh, writing out images, and you say how many images am I writing out a second? Well, we'll just clear that you would just say oh I'm writing out 90, uh, 9.93 images per second that's pretty cool um, so that's one good thing now uh, the unit scale I, I don't know when I would use this one personally but I'm pretty sure there's other things um, maybe let's say you are running something in parallel I mean that would be so weird but you said you have 10 uh, cores going at once and then you want to see you want to say oh I'm having 99.27 images per second since I have 10 cores running in one loop that really in all honesty you you probably wouldn't do that ever <laughs> but that's one way I can think of using it the position um, it just basically is saying it's gonna go uh, how how far down or it's going to be so if I say I want it to go three bar, uh, three uh, new line characters down it just starts three character lines down which is kind of cool and then uh, d this one this disable now that is I don't even know why you would wrap your <laughs> your module in this so if it, it, it's I don't know why you would even wrap your your iterable in TQDM if you plan on disabling TQDM. <laughs> so I'm 
So, um, or maybe you just want, don't want to have that at one point. It's and it's used for testing. Uh, you just want to test something out. But um, so, see, naturally, it's uh, disabled by by default, and uh, you can see that it's displaying something. Now, if I go ahead and say disable it, well, nothing's gonna appear because it just it's just going to do the loop like normal, and then. Um, it's just not going to display anything, which is it kind of defeats the purpose of using that. But I can see where that'd be used, like if you want to do testing, and you don't want to have so many bars all the time. I'm gonna put that back on though, because I I do want that. And also, um, you don't you can change the, the how it's outputting. It doesn't have to be just like a bar. It can be ASCII characters, you know. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll just show you. Okay, what happened here? Oh, I cleared. Okay, see, now it's doing, it's counting up and then making a pound sign at the end of it. And that's uh, kind of cool. I prefer the other way. I think that's a better thing, in my opinion. So I'm going to just go back to false. Oop, like that. And so this is the, this is the normal. Uh, also, well, now where was I? Um, oh yeah, this leave. Now this one I actually think might be pretty useful. Um, I'm gonna just turn off the. I'm gonna just get rid of these two. I'm gonna actually get rid of those three, and the unit scale. I don't need that. Well, I'm gonna go into the context that I'm still, let's say, writing out images. Um, let's say leave equals uh, false. So what it's going to do now is it's actually going to oh, it's going to create the bar and then as soon as it's done it's just going to delete it. It's not going to show up anymore, and uh, that would also stop me from having to type clear all the time in this in this console. See, so now it's gone. But if I turn this back on, it will uh, stay there. So these are the uh, some pretty useful parameters. And let's just boom go. All right, cool. And uh, that that's all I got for this. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show how to use TQDM uh, GUI, just like a very basic thing. All right. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.